hello everyone and welcome back to glancer before we get started if you are new to the channel and haven't subscribed yet make sure to hit that subscribe button and click the bell icon so you never miss an update so in my previous video i have discussed about the two requirements that is structural ambiguity and word sense in the concept of semantic interpretation so in today's video i am going to discuss only about event and entity resolution and in the next videos i am going to discuss about the other requirements so before getting uh, to know what is mean by event and entity resolution you have to know what is mean by event and what is mean by entity so what is mean by entity first entity is nothing but an object it is a real world object real world object will be existing in this world so you can say that a real world object which is having some existence in this world is nothing but entity so what is mean by entity resolution then entity resolution is nothing but the process of identifying entities that is people organization location and more entity is nothing but object the real world object when it comes to entity resolution the process of identifying those real world objects in the given text is nothing but entity so what comes under these entities those are nothing but the people names or the organization names or the location names or and many more so mostly if a particular if any sentence is given they uh, tell you to identify what is entity what are the entities in this particular text then the words which comes under nouns are mostly considered as entities so let's look at this example steve jobs was the co-founder of apple which is headquartered in cupertino so, so identify those entities so steve jobs is nothing but a person's name so he comes under an entity uh, when you take Apple, Apple is nothing but an organization name. So it comes under an entity. And Cupertino is nothing but the location name. So this also comes under an entity. So this is how you have to find entities in any particular text they have given. So what is mean by event then? Events are nothing but the actions. Then what is mean by event resolution? Event resolution is nothing but the process of identifying the actions described with associated entities is nothing but event resolution. Okay. Actions. So if a particular text is given, there you find some action in that particular text, then it come then it will come under an event. So mostly verbs are considered as events when a particular text is given. Okay. So let's look at this example. Elon Musk announced that Tesla will build a new factory in Texas. So what is the action in this particular text? That is announcement. Announcement is an action, right? So it comes under an event. So what is mean by event and entity resolution then? Identifying and linking references to the same entity across the text is nothing but event resolution or in short you can say identifying entities and events in a particular text is nothing but event and entity resolution. So this is about event and entity resolution. Thank you so much for watching till end. Uh, one thing I would like to say is that many of you were watching my videos but haven't subscribed yet if you feel these lectures are really helping you then please consider subscribing to the channel it really means a lot because it will give me the boost to create more content like this so don't forget to like and share with your friends who might find it useful thank you